Hey all JTC here, and welcome back to another narrated gameplay, where I jump into a quick play and talk about what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. Uh, today we're going to be hopping into Kata Quick Play with Ranger Veteran using One-Handed Hammer and Masterwork Pistol. Now before we jump in, uh, we're just going to talk through the build I'm running and why I'm running it. We're not going to go super into detail with properties because we just don't really have the time for that. But um, I'm running One-Handed Hammer and uh, Masterwork Pistol for a couple of different reasons. Um, Masterwork Pistol is just a really, really good weapon in general good for boss killing, good for special killing, and it does have some horde clear capabilities, uh, not, to, of course, to the extent of Grudge Raker, but if you get a bunch of enemies kind of lined up in a um, kind of small clump, you can actually shred through them pretty well with the right click. And um, I'm running one-handed hammer, uh, not because I'm looking to do a massive amount of damage, but because I want to go more defensive. Like I uh, said, we're going into a quick play, so I'm not going to know who my teammates are, and I'm not going to know um, what my ping is going to be, so I'd rather go more defensive than offensive. Now, uh, that's also the exact reason why I'm running more of a selfish build on uh, Ranger Veteran instead of a more team-based build. Now, uh, we're running stagger temp HP with the one-handed hammer since the stagger on one-handed hammer is really, really huge. Um, I'm running attack speed because I just like attack speed, no other reason. Uh, mainstay, scavenger because scavenger is very, very good. You could honestly run any of these three, but personally, I like scavenger the best for this build, so I'm going to be going with scavenger. Um, exuberance for the damage reduction because ranger vet desperately needs damage reduction. And then surprise guest uh, because, like I said, I would prefer to go more offensive and selfish or more defensive and selfish because I don't know who my team is going to be. Um, if I was running with a group that I knew, I would pick Exhilarating Vapors, uh, but because I don't know, I'm going to be running Surprise Guest. Alright, so we're going ahead and loading into the game. I'm going to start uh, immediately, and I'm going to start blocking and holding right-click, uh, because I don't know what I'm going to get dropped into. And, at, oh, we are in a very bad situation. I see my ult is up. I'm going to ult immediately to help uh, keep the Plague Monks away. Uh, and then, actually, that went pretty well. I'm surprised that the Sienna didn't die because uh, I did not have an immediate immediate ability to help her up, but uh, she was able to do pretty well. Ow! Uh, my ping is a little interesting. I am on one tamp HP, so I'm going to just kind of walk around and hold block as I look for some enemies to farm some temp HP off of because I don't see any uh, healing for me. Oh, actually, there's some healing over here. Hopefully, I can grab some. With this because I am hurting a little bit. Um, I'm going to not heal just yet unless I hear like a rattling or a globadier that could chip me without me realizing it. Um, I also hope that I don't get friendly fire down here. Um, so yeah, uh, looking at this... Um, oh, actually, globadier, I'm just going to heal. Um, looking at this team comp, we have... Uh, basically, uh, actually, what is the handmaiden running? Um, she's running... Okay, she's running Spear. Okay, I need to back up so I don't eat a bunch of chip damage. Um, so it looks like we kind of have a mixed team comp. Not really any hard frontliners, but not uh, really any hard backliners either, other than the Bounty Hunter. So we kind of have, like, a basically a team of flexes, which can work. Uh, some people struggle with kind of this kind of comp, but uh, I'm not really sure if we're going to struggle with it. It looks like these guys are pretty competent so far, but I'm going to have to just keep an eye on it. I don't know how I got up here. Oh, my God. But uh, I'm just going to go for the um, trash and let my team take care of the um, Chaos Warrior. Immediately take care of that special. I'm going for this special too. Going to dodge back here, see what there is. I hear a Hook Rat. I'm going to look for that Hook Rat. I'm not worried about this Chaos Warrior as he's climbing for some reason. Um, okay, I don't hear the Hook Rat anymore, so I'm assuming he's on the other side with my team. So I'm just going to try to kill this Chaos Warrior fast. I'm going to... Okay. I was going to go and ult and save her from those Plague Monks, but she saw it, so I didn't need to, so I canceled that plan. I'm going uh, special hunting, since they're kind of preoccupied right now. That was a very, uh, that could have been a super sketchy situation had the handmaid not seen those Plague Monks, which is why I was rushing to her with my ult ready to kind of save her if need be, but she did see it thankfully, and that wasn't a problem. So, right now, um, actually, hold up. Something that people don't know is that you can honestly just shove enemies off, um, ledges like this. And it's a lot of fun to do. Like, right there, just shove them off, don't need to kill them. Um, I'm gonna stay with the Bounty Hunter since he doesn't really have, like, a way out like the other three of us do. 
Um, this is kind of a scary situation for the Bounty Hunter to be in because there is two basically um, invisibility ults uh, that would leave him alone with the Battle Wizard. And the Battle Wizard could absolutely just like teleport and leave him. So I do need to be a little more conscious of the Bounty Hunter to make sure I don't screw him over with my ult. Uh, so I, I kind of want to keep him in my line of sight at all times. I don't know where that Blight Stormer is, but I'm going to take care of that. Uh... Oh, there he is. There he is. Let me see. Okay, nice. I am going to try to go for that Blight Stormer, uh, but thank God my uh, team decided to help uh, with that. So that's not too bad of a problem. Uh, we do have a horde coming, I hear. So I'm going to push up to the Sienna since she's uh, in some trouble. So I'm going to ult to save her, push them back away from her. I'm going to kill the uh, armored with my Masterwork Pistol since that's what Masterwork Pistol really exceeds at. I'm going to build some temp HP while I'm here since uh, one-handed hammer does not do a bunch of damage. Um, it does a fuck ton of stagger though. So uh, running stagger temp HP and just like... Pressing left click into a horde a couple of times really, really helps you uh, generate temp HP fast. Um, I'm going to see if I can snipe that gunner, which I was able to. Uh, so it seems like... Uh, it looks like Bounty Hunter... Yeah, Bounty Hunter is running uh, Griffin Pete, so he has no sniping capabilities. Um, I think... Bounty Hunter is, or Battle Wizard is running Con Flag, so she, or it's not Con Flag, but Coruscation, so she has no special killing capabilities. So it's up to me and the Handmaiden to kill specials. So I am definitely going to put myself more in a special killing role, more than a frontliner role. I'm going to hope that uh, the, my, the rest of my team can kind of frontline better and take care of the horde. But for me, I'm going to focus more on special killing, which I've been doing so far. Um, I'm going to kind of fall back with my team. Assault Spire is by himself, so I'm going to kind of stick with him. Uh, kind of like near him until he catches up beautiful shot unfortunately not a headshot though i hear a hook rat behind coming for oh okay he's on the way through the salt spire so hopefully the salt spire can take care of that oh but he jumped over so it's fine there he is he's gone i hear an assassin i don't know where that assassin is I'm gonna help the Salt Spire since he also he's running Falchion, so I know he does not have good um, super armor damage. So I'm gonna help him. Life leech is up, I hear. Don't know where he is though. I'm gonna pre-charge the gun a little bit. Try to take care of some armor if I can. Ah, they staggered it away from my shot, but uh, that second shot hit, which is good. We hear a... I hear a patrol. I'm not sure what my team is going to do in this instance. Um, okay, I cannot move forward, so I'm going to move back. All right, so we went ahead and we are triggered by... We triggered the horde, so we're going to kill the special. I'm going to go ahead and bomb this. Go invisible. I'm going to go behind these guys, and I'm just going to pepper them with my ult. Or pepper them with my Masterwork Pistol to get some free damage in. I hear a special, I, I see my um, ult is about to run out, and I don't know where this special is. I need to kill the specials to the best of my ability. Hopefully I can get, oh, that was unfortunate. I should have been looking at him, but that's fine. Um, I'm gonna give Salt Spire my healing. Assassin up. I'm assuming the assassin's probably over at them, so I'm going to assume they're going to take care of it. I'm kind of watching behind right now, since uh, having these guys poke my friends in the back would be very bad, so I want to make sure that they're safe from behind. They're now coming from behind, but I'm going to push up with my team since I'm very far separated. Once more, I'm going to watch the back and protect the battle wizard's back while she's taking care of the horde up front. Since she is much better at dealing with a massive horde than I am, I don't need to be uh, face tanking this horde. Damn. Just completely BM'd on that one rat. Gotta get rid of that warp fire. Yeah, so it looks like this team's uh, pretty competent. They know what they're doing, which is great. That uh, makes my job easier. Now, since there's really... Ow, there's not much else to do. I'm just gonna push into the horde and fight. 
Uh, pretty much, if if there's nothing really else to do and you're a special killer, then you want to be fighting the Horde as much as possible. Obviously, you don't want to be wasting time, or um, you want to be making most of your time is what I'm trying to say. Oh, I did not get a healing. Unfortunate. Now, coming into this Burble Spew Hail Scourge fight, uh, there is one spot I'm going to go stand on as a ranged character. Um, over here to the left on this bed post, um, it actually is possible to jump onto this post uh, by jumping first onto this like bed frame and then onto this post, and it's actually impossible. Oops. Uh, when he does his um, opening kind of AoE like um, blob attack, it's actually impossible for him to hit you while up here, so I have free range to do whatever I need to. Now, I'm just going to try to snipe him. Actually, okay, she got it. So yeah, it's impossible for him to hit you with that. And while you're up here, um, it's also impossible for him to hit you with those um, blobs. Unless he's in your face like that, then he'll hit you. Never mind, I'm actually a liar. Um, sometimes, uh, what I'll say instead is sometimes he can hit you. Not always, but sometimes. I'm going to go ahead and ult since he's about to go up. And I'm just going to do my best to do as much damage as I can. Try to chunk him. Paying attention, bottom left, I see my ult is about to run out, so I'm going to switch back to melee. Try to build up some temp HP here while I can. Uh, this guy's about to teleport down, which means another wave is about to come, so I'm going to get prepared for that since he's doing his tornado. I want to build up some temp HP, so I'm not going to horribly die, or he's also just going to come and start hurting me. I'm going to try to help Salt Spire here. I don't have healing to give him, so he is on his own in that aspect. We're almost, we've almost killed him, so might as well bomb him. And yeah, that was a very, very smooth verbal spew fight. Um, a lot of fights don't go that smooth, but uh, considering we actually have a decent amount of damage when it comes to um, a bounty hunter and uh, my masterwork pistol and a moonfire bow, uh, the damage on verbal spew was not bad at all, which allowed us to really burst him down as fast as possible. Uh, now, we don't have, like, any tanky characters, which did make, uh, that fight a little bit of a, um, a little bit, uh, of a problem if something went, uh, wrong, but since nothing went wrong, we were able to burst him down really fast, and we were able to get a very easy win.